Come on in. Do I want to know what happened? Something did happen, didn't it? I just came to tell you, Zach, that um, after tonight, this dinner with everybody, I can never see you again. Goody, you're still here. This is a good thing because... Well, the party is far from over. In fact, the fun's going to hit the fan. Interesting choice of words. Our host promised an unforgettable end to the evening. Oh, yes, there are definitely going to be fireworks. Rumor has it, Ryan is finally going to get what's coming to him. You love me? Yes. You mean that? Yes. For real? Yes. Oh my god. I know, it... It blew me away at first too, but Greenlee... I'm way past friendship and business partners and pure lust. And I'm into this. For better, for worse. To love and to cherish till death do us part. I want this marriage to be real. You're not there with me. Like, like yet or ever. It's okay, Greenlee. I can deal with whatever it is that you want. I know we signed a contract and I've I've gone way over the line, way too fast. Hey, this is way off for you, or you, you can't deal with this, or you want to go a different direction, just, you know, call the whole thing off, just... Just say something. Please. Anything. going to say something, now would be the time. How long? How long have you known that you love me? Well, I know, you know, I knew I'd been falling for a while. You didn't say a word? I wouldn't let myself. Not until I was absolutely dead sure. That I could love you as much as Leo did. You remember the day in the park where you said that you were waiting for someone to give you that kind of love? The whole heart kind. Well, now I can. My whole heart is yours. I think I need dates. Like times. When were you sure? I mean, did it did it sneak up on you or did it just smack you in the head? It was at the circus. Um, I saw this flash of light like a shooting star high above me, fearless, even laughing. I had a net. And the catcher reached out and and you let go of the trapeze and you held on to her. And it hit me that that's what I wanted. I, I, want, I wanted to be able to catch you. I want to be your net. I want to be... I want to be what puts that incredible smile on your beautiful face. But you left me. And when we got back from the circus, you just took off. I went to see Jonathan. 
Not the act of a man wildly in love. Well, I couldn't push you. I didn't want to. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to hurt you. I had to be... I, mean, I couldn't be casual about this. I had to be absolutely dead sure that I could risk it all to stand beside you for the rest of our lives. And now, I, I know... I know that you're right for me. I know that there isn't anything else that I could ever want. But Greenlee, if, if I'm not right for you or you need some time to adjust... I want you. What did you say? I want you. Ethan, this is Jack Montgomery. I've heard a great deal about you, Mr. Ramsey. Bad news travels fast. Will you two gentlemen excuse us for a moment? Glad to. Whether or not you're a Cambius, don't make the mistake of emulating your alleged. Oh, my God. You're not the first person to offer me that piece of advice. That's not advice. It's you do anything to make life difficult for Erica or Bianca or Kendall. If Kendall smashes up, I suggest you duke it out with Ryan Lake. Mother, will you just please stop worrying? Okay, Ryan and Greenlee can take care of themselves. Is he in on it with you, this, this Ethan Cambius? Mother, there, there's nothing to be in on, all right? I'm less horrible and calculating than you think I am. Kendall, we've already been through all this. I don't want to see you hurt, that's all. And Ethan? Look, just because he's related to a criminal doesn't make him one, too. Now, I thought I was proof of that. Your heredity isn't everything. Look, why don't you spend the evening with Jack and me? Okay, I mean, we'd just love to. To lock me up in the closet and make sure I don't stir up trouble? Sweetheart, you cannot make Ryan love you. Ryan does love me. He just doesn't want to admit it yet. And of course, Greenlee's playing it. So. Okay, well, let's just say he does love you. That's still not going to be the answer to all your problems. Why is it that someone who has enough to worry about in their own life has to try to run other people's lives? I don't... Do you remember when you thought that if Bianca and I loved you, that your life would be complete? Well, it happened, didn't it? We do love you. But it wasn't the answer to everything. Look, I just... I want to help you in any way I can. And when you're ready to accept that, know that I love you and that I, I, I'm here for you. I really, really appreciate that, Mother. I really do. Listen, don't worry about me. I want you to just have fun, have fun and relax, okay? Because you are not going to believe what an amazing space I'm in. I'm telling you, great things are going to happen. So, Edwin? Oh, Jack. Just can you get me out of here? Just get me out of this bar. I just have to get out of this room. Would you get grilled too? They're worse than by the rest of the party crowd. Oh, well, I guess it's the lawyer and him. Sorry you had to be subjected to all of that. It's okay. Doesn't hurt to know your enemy. No, uh, he just worries way too much about my mother. And your sister. And you. All right, where, where, where the hell is our champagne? Where's our champagne? What, are they stomping the grapes back there? Oh, my what? God. Yeah, I think, you, <laughs> I think you've had about enough alcohol for one evening. I don't think you know what I need. You know, my neighbor was just here a second ago. Oh, no, no, no. Trust me, you were the only Pinecone resident within 50 miles. No, no, yeah, nice guy. In fact, you'd like him. But, uh, he wouldn't happen to be from a Brett, would he? Yeah, uh, Aiden, um, Devane. Devane, he's my only friend in Pinecone. No, 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 Aiden is not your friend. You've been royally snowed, Ethan. It looks like it's an undercover reunion for all the people that wanted Michael Camus exterminated. Mm. If Agatha Christie were a party planner. No. Look, to top it all off, Edmund, today is the anniversary of Michael Gamis' death. Put it all together, you know, something's gonna blow tonight. What's 
later, is let everybody know that he has something lined up for after dinner. Yeah, I bet he does. He's calling it entertainment. I'm going to be watching him. Good. Right, that's all we can do. I'll let Maria know. How's she going to take it if um, this lady goes off the tracks? Don't worry about her. All right? I trust her completely. Everything between her and Zach is over. It was over, and it should have stayed over. And I, I let my emotions run away with me, and I shouldn't. I, it, it confused me, and I. So if I led you on in any way, I'm sorry. Well, I did. I, you know what? I know I, I did send you mixed messages. I did that, and I'm, and I'm really sorry because it was stupid, and it hurt both of us. So. That's it. Not really about us, is it? It's about Edna. No, this is about all three of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm committed to my marriage, I'm committed to my children, and to my life with Edmund. And I just wanted to tell you that I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay. <clears throat> is there something else? Because I am kind of busy. No? Good, then I will see you tonight at dinner. And after that, never again.